Three producers, three free plugins. Welcome back to the most influential web series on YouTube. Firstly, I'm happy to welcome back Florian from Beatsbusten. He's responsible for the electric piano, D Piano E by Dead Duck. This is a pretty old modeled electric piano plugin, so no samples used. Secondly, a new guest, Mattis from Shameless Plugs. He's bringing in Blackbird. A free polysynth with very easy to understand but also quite limited controls. And then of course there's me and I brought in Tome, a drum synthesizer by Solcito Musica. Pretty interesting one I might say. Let me also mention, both my guests are plugin developers themselves. I'll leave you links to their free plugins in the description. Let's see what Florian came up with. Hello, I'm Florian Brugala from Beats Basteln. And this is a section of my track for the challenge. I want to show you one part specifically, which is the end part in which all of the sounds come together of the plugins that we were checking out for this challenge. The plugins in question are called Blackbird, sort of a super saw clone but with very reduced controls, D Piano E, which is an MDA E piano clone, and Tou, a kick and tom bass virtual synth with really peculiar workflows and sounds. Okay, so this is Blackbird. And it sounds like this. Yeah, I mean, it is basically a very reduced kind of super saw synthesizer. So I just selected one of the only waveforms that can produce some nice harmonics, which is the square wave. I dialed in full character because that's basically unison. A little bit of filter, no, none of the modulation stuff because the envelope has a weird bug that I just can't get behind. The reverb is also not something that I like a lot, which is why I loaded my own instance of Raum here. So yeah, I, I don't know. Um, for a challenge, it's nice because it's challenging, but this synthesizer certainly looks better than it feels. Now next up, I want to discuss the e-piano. So this e-piano, it's, it's not the most pristine sounding e-piano ever, but the reason for that is because it's an emulation of MDA e-piano. And if you are already pretty old, just like me, then you know that MDA is also a very old developer, like you can get nostalgic about MDA plugins. So this does exactly what you would expect from it. It creates this kind of old school early VST e-piano synthesizer flavor. And I set the polyphony down to three voices, even though there are always at least four voices played in this melody because the humanized module humanizes the timing a little bit, which makes some of the notes pop out a little bit more than the others, which creates a very interesting effect here. And the last synthesizer I want to talk about is Toom, the kick and tom synthesizer. And from this whole challenge, I can just say that this is the one that I'm most fascinated with. It has, on this particular track, it creates this sound. So this synthesizer was really not meant as a melodic synthesizer, but I just abused it to be one by setting the pitch to be key tracked instead of just a selected note. And all of these controls are actually really peculiar, like even the ones that look kind of harmless, like the saturation knob, it, it's definitely not normal saturation, it has a very specific sound. Or like this thing that cycles through a lot of different modes for interpreting the entire thing. You, you are definitely up for some surprises when trying to use this synthesizer, so I can recommend it. All right, so now it's time to play the full track. Now let me show you the songs I wrote for you. Singing them is what I like to do. I got so many impossible to count. Let me play back the supersonic sound. Can you feel the sunshine on your skin? 
excuse me that was not fair is it just forget it it won't happen again i love singing i do it that all night on ways and play catchy vocal lines until the end of time Yep, that was the full track. Hiya, my name is Matthijs and welcome to the dying world of Sahel. This is quite a complex track. Um, the groove is meant to be reminiscent of 80s club tracks. The three plugins we chose for this challenge were Deep Piano E by Dead Duck Software, chosen by Floria Murkala, Toom by Solcito Musica, chosen by Sylvan Stoiple, and Blackbird by Dmitri Hikin, chosen by me. The way I used them uh, was as follows. For Deep Piano E, I chose the Bright preset. Effects used on it are my own Feral Felix Phaser and Wrench Distortion, Isotope Ozone Imager 2 to make it wide, and Loudmax to squash it to one volume. For Tomb, I chose the presets EDM Kick 17, Timbal 3, and EDM Tom 4. Effects used are Transpire by Sonic Anomaly to make it as percussive and short as possible, Pen Flow by Audio Modern to pen it randomly, Ozone Imager 2 by Isotope to make the panning even wider, Loudmax to squash the volume to keep it in check, and Ria Delay with a randomized dry wet balance. For Blackbird, which is playing the bass line, I chose the Sawtooth Oscillator, uh, a filter with a randomized frequency, and also a randomized decay in the envelope. Effects used are Qualcomm Stamp, Nadir Speaker Cabinet Simulator by STL Tones, Ozone Imager 2 by Isotope, and Loudmax to squash it. And I also added uh, an Ample Bass P Light 2 by Ample Sound playing the same thing. I would like to, to thank Dominic McSweeney for playing the awesome guitar solo, and my daughter Naomi for telling the tragic story of Sahel. To listen to the whole completed track, please visit the Shameless Plugs channel, where it will be uploaded shortly. Uh, creating this track was a lot of work, so please make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and give the video a thumbs up. Thank you! Lastly, I struggled quite a bit to make something with these three plugins because I wanted to make something that was inspired by these three plugins. I didn't just want to make anything and then add those instruments to it. I wanted to make something that comes out of these instruments. But they're quite versatile in actuality, so they don't give you a very clear direction to go into when you're exploring the sounds. So what I ended up doing was just disregarding the three plugins completely to start 
I grabbed my guitar and I used my secret weapon. Plugins by the two guys I invited. I used the DOM by Shameless Plugs, Fastploid by Shameless Plugs, and Nell by Florian Mugala. And I used these three to make a guitar tone that I enjoy quite a lot. And it's amazing how wide you can get something sounding with Nell. If I don't use Nell, it sounds like this. And with Nell. Pretty cool. So then I tried to introduce some of the plugins that we actually were supposed to use, right? For example, the electric piano. I think that's quite nice. Then Tome, you can get so many sounds out of. All the drums I have in here are Tome and all the basses are Tome as well, except for two samples. This snare. This shaker is also from Tome. With some delay and EQ, it really sells it, I think. Then there's this percussive thing. And also there's this bass. And then I'm coming in with a little Blackbird lead line. Now, this whole thing was the third or fourth attempt. So what I did is I combined two ideas of mine. There is this maybe a bit too forced transition into a new part, Blackbird arpeggio. Doubled with the same notes played by the electric piano. And then there's these two layers of tome percussion. That's all routed into a group. A bit crusher is faded in, like mixed in with automation. So the second part comes in and with just instruments we had to use, it sounds like this. Two more Blackbird instances. I also added this little click, just a click. Also for the transition to work, I used monster soundscapes to give it some more texture. And just some random samples I found, a china and a bass drop. At one point, I'm also doubling this Blackbird synth hook with a Sforzando guitar. There's this little verse, followed by text flute solo. And this nice Blackbird chord pad with a M vibrato rotary. Also, Nell again to make it very wide. It's not a very well-rounded track, but I think it's still enjoyable to listen to once or twice. Maybe you learn something, maybe you gain some inspiration. And yeah, that's what I came up with. Let's listen to the whole thing. Mm -hmm. 